I'll be showing you how to create a protective style that you can wear on an evening out or on a date. And if you want to spice this look up a bit, just change some accessories and your attitude and you'll have anybody drooling over you in this style. Stay tuned. As you can see, I've already twisted my hair, and because my hair is relatively short, my twists are relatively short, but that doesn't mean you can't do protective styles if you have short hair. Just watch and see. You need two things and a technique, and you can get the look. The previous night, I twisted my soaking wet hair with oil and handmaid's burnt sugar and pomade, and this time I didn't part my hair, I just grabbed and twisted. To do this style, you're only going to need bobby pins and hair pins. They may seem the same, but they are totally different. You're going to begin by creating a part on the left side of your head. Now, as I stated previously, I did not part when making these twists. I simply just took some hair and started twisting. So it's going to be hard to try to find a defined part. But once you get enough hair in your hand, you're going to make a pompadour. Once you get a defined shape that you like, you're going to take your bobby pin and pin down the hair so it won't come apart. Once your pompadour is secure with bobby pins, you're going to take your hair pins and carefully place them in between your twists so they won't come loose. This is very important because you don't want twists to be popping up out of your style throughout the day. step is to take some twists on the side of your head and we're going to place them in the direction of the pompadour. To get all the other twists out of the way, use hair clamps to pin them back. Tuck it into a twist and pin it to secure it. On the other side, you're going to do the exact same thing. Now it's time to deal with the back. To make sure I protect all of my hair, including the ones in the back, going to two strand twist my twist in a swoop like direction going back. Since I can't see what I'm doing in the back, I'm feeling around to try to make my twist as neat as possible. twist all the twists to the end of my head, I'm going to secure the remaining twist with a bobby pin. We'll come back and finish once all the twists are done. Now that the flat twists are finished, I have to go back and protect the end. I take the remaining loose twists and then tuck them under itself and secure it with the bobby pin. This ensures that all my hair is protected. Once you've twisted and tucked under each and every flat twist that you did, you're finished. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, thanks for watching.